Now, I know you're watching this on Facebook, but if you do a Google search for a golden ratio, you'll get a lot of cool information as far as how the golden ratio of design has been used throughout history thousands of years ago. Way back when, uh, you know, anyway. So the golden ratio is based on 1.68 ratio to everything else. You'll find it in nature, the pyramids, the Parthenon. Now, I don't want to confuse you with a lot of technical talk, but here's what I want to share with you. Adobe Illustrator. If you're not using Illustrator for web comps, you're really shooting yourself in the foot. Uh, I've never used Photoshop for web comps because it's pixel-based. Pixel-based is not scalable. Vectors are. Illustrator will do run circles around Photoshop when it comes to web design and comps. So let me share with you a simple technique. If in fact you wanted to do a golden ratio design by default, I'm at the M key and I'm just going to create a rectangle. I'm going to hold down the shift key and just so it's visually different, I'm just going to make this, maybe pick this pink color. Eh, maybe not this pink color, maybe this orange color. All right, so here's how we can get started by building a golden ratio, which is based on the 1.618. Now, it's a bit longer fraction than that, but 1.618 suffices. So if you have your smart guides on, under the view menu, view menu, guides, command U, control U for Windows. So what I want to do here is go to my ellipse tool, which is letter L. And I'm going to create an ellipse from the center baseline, holding on the option key. And I'm going to create this ellipse and keep drawing it until it comes right out to the top of the square corners. So that's what I want to use to help me. And this is how they did it back in the day, back in Egypt. Uh, back in Egyptian days, they didn't have Illustrator. Well, maybe they had Illustrator 0.070 before Illustrator, you know, anyway, just a little bit of a joke there. All right, I'm just going to change the color here. Now, here's what I want to share with you. It's a very simple concept. My objective is to teach you the way the software thinks and the way the tools work. This is an object, the object selected. Anything about the object is under the object menu. Based on these choices, I'm going to arrange the object to send it backwards. I don't want to send it all the way to the back because that would put it behind this putty color. I'm going to send it one backwards, so therefore you can see what I'm doing. Now, the reason I use the square and the circle, and that's what they used to use back in the day because they didn't have Adobe Illustrator, is if you proportionally put a circle, a sphere, inside of a rectangle, the top corners will give you a proportion to the next section. So what do I mean by that? Well, I'm just going to pick a different color here. Let's pick this uh, greenish color. I'm going to go back to my rectangle tool by the letter M. And if I create a rectangle that goes out as far as the edge of this, right there, because it snaps to guide because I have my smart guides on, I'm just going to change this to even a different color, maybe this purple color. So what you're seeing right now is a golden ratio of design right there, okay, which is really pretty cool. Now, I can take this and do one of a couple of things with it. I can actually take this, position this in the top left-hand corner, go to my scale tool, pick a point to scale from, and scale this right into position. So that would automatically give you my golden ratio of design. That's one, that's one approach. Another approach, a simpler approach, is I can actually take whatever size I had. So let's actually select this and delete this. Actually, before we do that, let's just hide this object, object, hide, hide objects, command three, control three for Windows. All right, so now I'm going to take this shape here and I want to copy this. Command C, copy, command F, paste in front. The one that's in front, command C, copy, the command F, paste in front, the one that's in front, I'm just going to make a different color. Now, the reason I did that, because this is the width of that object. Incidentally, I have my transformation palette up here. If it's not up here, you simply go to transformation right there, transform. So I'm going to take the width of this, and I'm going to divide that by 1.618. So right there is my golden ratio of design. Okay. Now, how can I test that? How can I prove that? That that really is what I intended it to be. Well, if we go back to the object menu and, un un and basically show all, then I can take this object, which was right there to begin with, and I get rid of the circle. Just like we did before, I'm going to position this in the top left-hand corner. Holding down the shift key would certainly help. Position this in the top left-hand corner. Go to the scale tool, pick a point to scale from, and scale this right into place. And you'll see that that lines up exactly. How cool is that? So the golden ratio can be used for a lot of different things. So if you look at your Twitter page, that's proportionally set out by the golden ratio.
But see, it gets even better than that because then you can start slicing and dicing your golden ratio. So what do I mean by that? Well, I can now take this shape. Incidentally, these are this is a shape behind the shape. So here's a little production technique in Illustrator. And this, again, would make Illustrator a very powerful tool. I'm going to select the objects, hold down the Command key, hold down the Control key for Windows. And based on these choices, I'm going to go to Pathfinder and click right here. And that's going to divide that by clicking right there. So right now, I have two physically separate shapes. I have this shape, I have that shape. Now, I, I want to divide this into the golden ratio as well. So what I can do is I can copy that command C, Control C, Macintosh Control C for Windows. And I want to paste in front, Command F, Control F, the one that's in front. I'm going to go back to my transformation tools and divide that by numbers right here. 1.618. Actually, I meant to divide the height. My mistake on that. Divide 1.618. And you will get your proportions right in place. So here is an object on top of the object. I'm just going to make this a different color so you can actually see what we're doing. Here's an object on top of an object. So if I take this and divide that by 1.618. That's my golden ratio. Now, keep in mind that if you want the to be the other way around, right now this is measuring from the top left. If you want to measure from the bottom left and do the same thing, you'll get a different result. So if I measure this from the bottom left and take the width of this and divide by 1.618, you'll get that happening. So pretty cool stuff. So therefore, you can start sectoring out your objects to, to, to get your end result. So let's say you want to do a sidebar over here, but you're not sure how big that sidebar should be using the 1.68 ratio. So again, make sure you copy, Command C, copy, Command F, paste in front, Control C, Control F, the one that's in front. I'll just make a different color, so it's just visually different. And I'm going to take this, let's measure from the top left-hand corner. I'm going to take this and divide that by 1.618. Okay, and I can take that as a sidebar, which means I can now take these two objects, go to the Pathfinder, divide that, take this object and put it over here, and take this object and just move it over. And there's a proportionally designed, very good looking website. So now how does this help us for creating our design comps in, say, Dreamweaver or even taking the CSS and putting the CSS inside of WordPress? Well, here's how it works. We need to create a responsive design. So this is set up in pixels. So if I go back to my transformation tool, this is 226 pixels, and this is 367 pixels, and this is uh, this is also 376, 300. I'm sorry, 367 pixels. Okay. So how can I make this work in percentages? Well, the simplest way around this, and I want to keep things simple, is I can just select the objects. Okay. Temporarily turn these objects into 1,000 pixels. Why? So now I have an exact division of 1,000 or 100, which is percentages work with. All I have to do is move the decimal point over. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if I click right here, this is 23.5%. What you're doing is you're moving the decimal point two over to the right. Or actually, one over to the left if you want to look at it that way. So this would be 23.5, and this would be 38.2, and this is also this is 38.1, okay? Now, how is that gonna help us if in fact we wanna now bring that into our file, into our Dreamweaver file? So what you can do is go to your typing tool, and if you really wanna be lazy, you can take this number, I can copy that number, I can then paste it right there. I could take this number, I could copy this number, and I can paste it right there. I could take this number, I can copy this number and I can paste it right there. So therefore, when I select the objects again and turn them back into 960, because that's what it should be by default, I could then take this as a final design comp and bring that into my Dreamweaver program, build my CSS right over on top of it, because I know the percentage, incidentally, this needs to be percentages, not pixels. So you do something like this. You get the idea. So this is just working smart. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg of the techniques, and training is all about techniques. If you think for a second that you're going to learn what I know based on my 27 years of doing this, watching some, no disrespect, some guy who just learned the program or doesn't know how to teach on YouTube, 
or any other uh, training site, uh, if you want to really squeeze the sponge, and I'm talking about every single Adobe program out there, I teach, I'm an expert in, been using it for years. If there's a better way to think, if there's a better way to solve a problem with WordPress, with Adobe products, with any of the Google SEO tools, webmaster tools, Google Analytics, Google Events, tracking, et cetera, et cetera. I'm your go-to person. I'm here to help you every step of the way. I take my training very seriously and I take my techniques very seriously. So do yourself a favor, sign up for our all access course. I have a coupon that you can basically get the all access course and make payments on it. In 10 months, you're totally paid in full. Doesn't hurt the bank, doesn't hurt your budget. Thank you for being here. My name is Robert Farrell, Carpe Diem.